fucking dead is not good. <laughs> but B-52 says, uh, there's... It's Let's not, go, Derek. Neither Derek. good nor entertaining. <laughs> We're featured. Let's give Derek Shapiro what he wants. Yeah, really, let's right? go We're ahead. featured. Let's go ahead and give Derek Shapiro his publicity during a featured moment. Yes. Okay, well, because this is the time I need to splice it out. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so I hear... And I purposely didn't watch his little rant or whatever that Ed posted this weekend. Oh, I gotta put it on. Because I want Ed to show it during the show, and I want to see it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Now I was conversing back and forth on occasion with uh, official game of girl, and 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 seeing what she was posting, and Sabuki was posting about this thing going on, and the Bean Fifty Two, mm -hmm. and apparently, you know, apparently what I'm getting is that. Mr. Shapiro is now saying we used him, we badmouthed him, and we weren't polite and nice, and he put us in his movie, and we should have been grateful, and that he's what makes this show work, and all this crap. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Again, I've always said it. Derek's, he's mm -hmm. like anybody, Derek Shapiro's entitled to his opinion. Well, I've i, I got to be honest with you, okay? Mm -hmm. I need to say this. Uh -huh. Derek Shapiro... Your people have the audacity to contact me on my personal Facebook page about this? Unbelievable. How many people? If you have a problem with Morning Roast, go to Morning Roast. Right. Don't come to my personal page how, how does start it... whining. And by the way, your Brenda Barrett, I looked at her page, all it is is stuff that your shows, I don't think it's a real Brenda Barrett. I think you made that page up it's made just to promote your shit. All right. Mm -hmm. So basically, basically, how many people Ed contacted you privately? I saw something. I think did you send it to me, Ed? The thing that said we a couple of his friends saying uh, we're we're gonna get together and no, ban like the morning people. roast and uh, we're gonna we want everybody to be in an uproar about the whatever. We know it's a big publicity thing mm -hmm. there, but we're gonna give you a little time, even though you're not on the air right now, because I want to hear this video that he put out. I think they bumped the mind and said when he was. But <laughs> Shapiro, we appreciate you putting us in the movie. But even, contact me on my personal even, Facebook page. Even, even though it's probably a movie we don't want to be associated with at this point, but I don't care. You know, I'm a grown boy. I, as a nice gesture, we said we would do it for you, and you asked us to do it. It's not a big deal. It's not going to take any years off my life. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. <laughs> but um, you know, just come on, dude. Well, can I read you what was written to me? Yes. Okay, I'm just okay. going to read you one. Brenda Barrett. This is a Brenda... This is Brenda... Brenda fan... Good grammar, by the uh -huh. way. This is Brenda fan of the Derek Shapiro Show, DSS-TV station, and the case of the radio show host. His friends down in Atlanta said that Derek Shapiro advertises you and put you guys in his movies. That's not right in bashing him. You should praise him. He put you in his movies. I hear no thanks to him, just bashing. Us fans told him to ban you guys from the SSTV station. I wrote back, the opinions expressed by our viewers is not necessarily the opinions of our hosts. Right. Okay, and then you will see tonight when Derek bashes you guys tonight on his show. So did it's anybody watch that show? Oh, I did, and I recorded it. I'm going to play it in a minute. Cool. See, <laughs> Derek Shapiro... And fans of Derek Shapiro, look, no one said because you put us in your movie that we're going to automatically like it. Where is that written rule? I, I, hell, I've done extra work. I've been in movies, independent movies and mm -hmm. extra work in shit that I don't even like after it came out. Just because I'm in something or I worked on something doesn't mean I like it. Come on, let's get real. Yeah. You don't like everything <laughs> you do. So, so for you to just be so damn... Ego maniacal to think, oh, if you're automatically in this movie, you're going to automatically like it. That's ridiculous. Because that just means, hey, you're going to record anybody doing anything and put in any piece of shit you put together and just assume they're going to like it just because they're in it. I don't work that way. I can badmouth stuff that I'm associated with <laughs> if I just think it's not good. Yeah, I mean, do you I mean, I can. Yeah, do you think those those girls, those college chicks, that's in those uh, Girls Gone Wild videos, you think they like them? Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just. 
it, it, it's ridiculous to assume, and that's the mentality we live in now, because it's politically correct, and everybody acts like you can't be negative, and you can't hurt people's feelings. Or, Not to say ignorantly or, correct. It's just stupid. <laughs> it's stupid to think that that, that that gives you a pass for a good review just because you put your you, you, you put us in it. Like, we're going to automatically go, man, that's the greatest thing since Citizen Kane, Derek Shapiro. You're just so fantastic just because you put us in it. That's bullshit. And we know you want publicity. Let's see what the chatters are saying. And when Ed's ready, I want to hear this. Gamer Girl was going off on him. Sibuki here? No. Not yet? Okay. So we're on here. Let's see what the hell everybody's saying. We're giving him his time. We're featured. He'll love this. We'll give him up up to like 9 o'clock on all this shit. Okay. We have to come back to it. Yes, Blog TV is becoming a soap opera of its own, own. Greybeard. <laughs> team DSS versus Team Morning Rose. Ah. Wow. Yurik Wildcat says there was a big uh, <laughs> pastor wanted on rape and child molestation charges on Mickin.com. Wow. Uh. We'll find out about that in a minute, Yurik. Thank you for that from the Cat Cave. Says Gamer Girls says, Ugh, my face exploded at 3 a.m. when Ed sent me the video. <laughs> Wow, great beard. Typical Hollywood producer type with a stick up his ass. Yes. Gamer Girl says, that's okay. I blew up his personal shit all weekend. Vorpa says, are you talking about that crappy movie, the one that makes no sense? <laughs> yeah, Vorpa. I mean, we're, and, and we, we know everybody's wow. out there going, don't give this guy any time, but we said we were going to. Your, I your find accent, out what was it a movie? <laughs> yeah. says it's not funny it's not a movie it's, a it's snippets, snippets of stupid, stupid stuff. stuff that's what i hear you know i've only seen that first part that first segment and the trailer the tra- and we we were giving them hell about the trailer from the beginning oh yeah you know we were like the trailer's just all wrong it is a great bit says maybe your word of the day should be movie or entertainment and right. give the real definition <laughs> but Craybeard, i don't think ds ds's thing is either Wow. What I'm hearing from people, I don't think it's very entertaining. Well, that's either. the point, I guess. I mean, it's <laughs> not a movie, a film, or entertainment, or anything. Like, so, so, so cool. It says, uh, I was in uh, Evan Almighty. What were you, so, so cool? Extra work or something? What'd you do? I never saw that movie, but yeah. tell us where you're located if you made the cut in that movie. We'll wow. look for you. Bean 52 it says, he's a wannabe director with silly ass stuff. That must be awfully childish. Gamer Girl says, I mean, he feels. Like, you guys should be defending him. That's what he told me yesterday. But why, phone. Derek Shapiro? I mean, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you can't be a nice guy. We had you sitting here right next to me. It doesn't mean you can't be a nice guy. It doesn't mean that we can't get along with you and think you're okay. But why do we have to automatically go, hey, it's a great movie just because we did you a favor by performing these two or three little lines that you sent us to act like a talk show for your movie? I mean, why do we have to necessarily say it came out well? That's, that doesn't happen in real life. There's plenty of big name actors and actresses mm-hmm. who have gone down in history saying that I have done some real crap. Yeah, it's always the time. There's Bob plenty. Hoskins and John Leguizamo. They said they really hated being in that the, movie the, Super Mario, the Mario Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, it happens all the time. <laughs> People don't like everything they do. Right. People complain about stuff. They're critical. People are their worst critics. Get off of it, man. Yeah. It's not a big deal. If you like making the freaking movie, make another one and find people that like it. There's a few mm-hmm. out there that will, I'm sure, because they feel like they got to like it because they're your friend. Go play it for them over and over. Let them watch it on replay all night, day long. Yes. For, uh, like So 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 Cool said, worked on Auction Hunters all week. God, I'm cool. Okay. That's, I guess, one of those uh, new... Auction. Shows. Yeah, never heard of that. Auction Hunters. Warple Bite says, Ed, you are under, underappreciated. You are a great... Pro- Production producer man, he is. Girl. No, we do appreciate yes. Ed. We yeah, do. we do. We always give him a hard time though. That's just part of the whole shtick, you know. Usually on shows like this, the the person behind the camera always catches all the shit from everybody. Yeah, That's... gamer girl says, "Holy shit, did Warp actually give a compliment?" <laughs> yep. Hold on, I got a PM said Boogie. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to wait for side Boogie, but Ed, Ed's also yeah. he's rendering the video, so he's got to clip it together. Says, anyway, uh, so. Don't play the. Don't play the video. Give uh, Cy a minute to get it. We'll give him a chance because it's not. I don't think it's not totally rendered yet. Oh, it says never mind, Cy. Yeah, we know he's not online. Maybe, maybe later, I guess. 
It must be a holiday or something. So, uh, gamer girl, if you don't mind, it's a private conversation. Let, let us know. Let, go ahead, gamer girl. Oh, oh, she is. Okay, so she was on the phone with him, mm -hmm. and he said... Said to defend the fact that he put sponsors on it. When I asked him why didn't he just put his sponsors in the credits, he gave me he had nothing, nothing to, to say. say. Being 52, he I says he's a narcissistic, narcissistic prick. prick. You know what? That's, that's exactly what, what one of those guys who crashed a JR's funeral said <laughs> in reception. <laughs> he ain't nothing but a narcissistic prick. Ding. And then basically John Ross, J.R. Jr., J.R. J.R. and uh, J.R. J.R. And, and Christopher, yeah. So nice they named him twice. <laughs> and his cousin, J.R. And Bobby's son, Christopher, they both beat their ass. <laughs> Jeez. That was actually one of the favorite parts of the whole dog on show. <laughs> and then he says, he asked Gamer Girl if I at least liked your, your guy's part, part of the movie. movie. I hope he said no, Gamer Girl. I hope he said that was shitty too. <laughs> <laughs> says, when you uh, like so cool says featured referring to Evan Almighty third scene when you hear change the world photographer in front and taking pic of Evan okay, oh, okay. I haven't ever seen the good movie job. good yeah, job yeah we'll check it out War Vice is 20 hours of World War 2 documentaries or that stupid movie what would you choose <laughs> wow I, I would choose 20 freaking hours of a bad soap opera <laughs> I think over that Derek Shapiro movie. Oh, um, and uh, Gamer Girl said, I told him no. Uh, Talking about the part we were in. Okay, Gamer Girl, he then wants me wants me on his show to go up against the viewers. He is going to play me review. Play my review. Okay. You know, ready? You got it? Man, that's perfect timing. Oh, we ended yes. right there with a Gamer Girl comment, and he says he's ready. Here we go. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Back here talking with Derek, of course, here in Peabody, Massachusetts, here. Uh, here on DSS TV station. Not only controversy to talk about here, I'm talking with Derek um, about well, the morning rails that airs Monday through Friday here, um, 8 to 11. Well, there were two emails I got from emails and two Facebook emails um, that um, I got. Well, I'll address three emails that got to me. One from um, Jeremy English, okay? From Ipswich, Massachusetts, here not too far from Peabody, uh, saying that you shouldn't take that ridicule that you got on the morning roast. Uh, the morning roast, uh, you know, um, um, people should send up for you. Uh, and their names, of course, is um, Anthony B. Harris, Irving, mm -hmm. and of course, Derek Barrett. Mm -hmm. And of course, the producer, um, Ed Makin's karaoke. They should stick up for you. Um, if you carry them on your show, they should um, really carry the movie on their shoulders <laughs> and um, really uh, advertise it in a good way, positive way. And uh, this other person wrote, <clears throat> um, which is Stacy Fantosia, Fantosia um, from North Providence, Rhode Island, wants to say, uh, when NBC does a movie, if Matt Lauer uh, was in it, uh, he and NBC does do great advertising. They just put the movie down. Um, same way if ABC and Disney does a movie, they don't put their movie down either. They should um, really advertise the good things. Uh, and the morning roast being in the movie is a good thing. No one really said the morning roast being in the movie is a good thing. Okay, and also we do have uh, Dana... Uh, fan Watts, Fan Watts from Covington, Georgia, wants to say, uh, you shouldn't take that ridicule from the morning roast, and uh, being on the morning roast, um, I guess they roasted you, but you shouldn't take that ridicule, you should be on positive things, which uh, maybe I should be on a positive thing, I mean, look at this, it, 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 it is daylight over here, and you know, this is positive, right? Anyway, I don't know, who knows? But anyway, um, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, snowing and good weather, you know. But you no, know, I, I, I mean, I enjoy being my, being on the show <laughs> live in the studio, of course. Well, okay, let's go with this. Um, we have um, Bill it? Walsh uh, said, uh, emailed me when he wrote dance. to uh, right. Making Karaoke. Um, this is Bill Walsh, a friend of Derek Shapiro. Uh, the Morning Roast owes Derek Shapiro an apology, and we are urging Derek Shapiro to ban the Morning Roast from DSSTVStation.com. Um, for all you um, to thank him and putting 
in promoting you guys in this movie. Uh, and then, uh, of course, he wrote to him, Derek Shapiro will be addressing this issue tomorrow night, which is tonight on Talking with Derek on DSS TV Station. Now, uh, let's go with um, Brenda Barrett. Um, Brenda Barrett, uh, let's see over here. Let's see. Um, Brenda Barrett said, the opinions expressed by, oh uh, no, I'm making very good for that, for both, um, but uh, let's do this. Brenda Barrett said, uh, this is Brenda Barrett, a fan of the Derek Shapiro show, DSS TV station, a case of the radio show host. His friends down in Atlanta said that Derek Shapiro advertises you and puts you guys in his movie. That's not right in bashing him. You should praise him. He puts you in his movie. I hear no thanks to him just bashing him. Us fans told him to ban you guys from DSS TV station. And Megan Scariocchi said, uh, the producer of The Morning Rose said, the opinions expressed by our viewers is not necessarily the opinions of our hosts. The Morning Rose itself is grateful for Derek Spur putting us in his movie. And that's that. So, I think it's good, good thing if people want me to ban them, but some people want me to continue them, is the latest controversy. I mean, you know, here it is. They are roasting, you know, the, the quote them want to roast. They, they express their opinion, shows post express their opinion, but they should stick up for me, maybe. You know, maybe you're right about that. You know, let's see what they say on Monday morning. Okay, you know, I'll keep them on, you know, for now, okay? And I mean, I mean, I mean, they're, they're positive guys. Let's see. Let's see, what, let's see what they say in response to this, talking with Derek. On that note, we're going to play um, Chevy Divorce's new song from the movie The Case of the Radio Show Host, which is My Foolish Heart. Then we'll come back with the Joan Melissa Rivers interview here on Talking With Derek. Back here Talking With Derek, of course, here in Peabody, Massachusetts, here, uh, here in DSS TV station, other than the controversy I talk about here. Okay, now we're going to show Derek Shapiro how to put a video together. <laughs> so it makes sense. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Super funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's we good. will comment on what Derek just said in a minute. Terrence McNair and uh, I was great it was great to direct him in it because he was very very funny in that in that commercial very thank funny. you that was fun <laughs> we made that what two three years ago already right yeah about yeah about two years ago out of January 2011 what's up what's Chris on? Payne come on your urban seat Payne. we got somebody now, here we got somebody coming in gonna take urban seat for the day yes yeah that okay now let's go back to Shapiro thank you guys if you like that thank again I wouldn't be offended if you didn't like the jerk away okay if you guys sat there and go that sucks I'd go okay great you got an opinion you're entitled to yes. it you I wouldn't should... sit there and start crying and go online and go Ed record me bad mouthing everybody because they're not liking our Derek's video 
Ooh, they don't like Jerkaway. I need to go cry about it on, on DSTV for the next hour and a half. Hey, Gamer hey. Girls. Gamer Girls said, what the hell is DSSTV? There's <laughs> even something to be bad. That's right. Beans 52 says, he just rattles <laughs> on and doesn't make any sense whatsoever. He is right. really a loony tunes. Right. It says, the gamer girl says, no, you know what? Fuck you, D. We should ban you first. <laughs> he said that he's not really that creepy. Him hitting on all of us is a part of his persona. Her personality <laughs> disorder. Yeah, yeah, I like it. So, says, basically. He can't ban anybody. This guy needs help. Thank you for playing that, Ed. That Thank was you. that was a good setup because we're trying to get a few jerks away from here. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so we need we need to set a year supply of that to D- Derek Shapiro. What's up? You Chris? like oh yeah, you slide on over, Chris. Hey, Chris Payne. All right. Yeah. Hey, you guys, I'm Chris Payne. He's done a lot of movie stuff. He's been on here before. We'll yes. get more to him. He does extra work and acts yes. with us. He's been in a lot of good I'm stuff lately. You. I'll let him decide whether he wants to mention it or not. He might not be able to mention yeah. it. My man can't really mention most yeah. of it. Yeah. Most of it he can't mention, but yeah. he's been in some cool movies they filmed in Atlanta that are coming out in the next couple mm-hmm. of years. And uh, But he's going to hang out with us today. I saw him last night over at Urax Cat Cave and told him, come on down and sit with us. We want to get your the opinion on cave. shit. The cat. Now, you better talk a lot, Chris. Don't I'm, come I'm, here. I'm gonna try, man. It's I mean, kind of early. Man. Put, put your damn a, put your damn opinion in about stuff. What do you think? Earlier, the first thing Derek played for us and Ed earlier was this this new this new service where they send women tampons every month. Delivery. It's like a tampon delivery service. No mm-hmm. lie. Okay, we're all guys right, so here. It's that time of the month. Exactly, yeah. and, and you'll get it like five days before. You, you tell them when your time is, and then you pick the brand. And it's like mm-hmm. a damn, it's like a damn service. Oh, that's it's amazing. like Netflix. It's, <laughs> it's Netflix for periods. Is what it is. Bad food. So is that a good thing, or do you think that's just another lazy way to be lazy? Well, I mean, somebody's making some money. Yeah. Dang. Or they're trying to. Well, what was it? It was like twenty-eight dollars for the pat to pay it, right? It's a twenty-eight dollar mm-hmm. fee. For real, man. Yes. How much is it at the store? I don't I mean, know. I, don't I, know. Don't, I, don't, I thought, why don't they just get up, get in the car, and drive but and go buy? But, but you yeah, have to admit that. But sometimes they have, sometimes some of these products are are basically priced on on how the effect is. Like you have Monostat, Monostat one, right? It's like last like twenty-eight dollars, twenty-nine dollars. Because I remember seeing it when we had to do that. Tampon sketch on that comedy show. That another one. Yeah, that we did. Which, if no you answer. get that one to add, we'll play that one too. It was twenty. Yeah, like twenty eight bucks. But Monostat Seven, which is you know, like Windows Seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like, like that's, that's like basically four ninety. Don't work. <laughs> that's like four ninety five. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's crap. Don't work. Mm-hmm. But anyway, back to Derek Shapiro. Shapiro, let me answer a few things you said. First of all, we're not Disney, we're not Matt Lauer, we're not NBC, okay? We never claim to be corporate and like everything that we're involved with. So who cares? And the thing about it, we already know that if Matt Lauer does something, he's acting in something, and NBC shows it, of course they're going to show commercials for it. Because they're trying to make freaking money. Yes. We're not trying to make money. What kind of money are you making off of the case of the radio host? Do you know what's going on, Chris? Let me inform. Let me inform. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do. Fill me in. I, I've, I've heard about this hey. Robert Shapiro, whatever. I thought he was OJ's <laughs> lawyer, honestly. Or okay. All right. Basically, the guy mm-hmm. got us a few months ago, private messaged Ed and said, I'm making a movie. Can you guys do a little skit for me? I'm going to send you a line, a couple of lines, and I want you guys to be like a radio show, and I want you to say something about I got amnesia or some crap, Okay. For the character, his character. Yeah, yeah. So we did it for him. We thought, okay, you know, this guy mm-hmm. seems like a nice guy. We'll do it. Who cares? We don't care. Of course, we had no idea knowing or thinking that the movie was going to be put together as shitty as it was put together. Right. Which is <laughs> the way, that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. You know, I, I you can know, tell you, many. 70% sure. of yeah. the projects I've been in turned out like that. Right. If, mm-hmm. if you ever see them. Yeah, right. right. I'll admit, see, I don't, right. I don't, truth be told, I have been in a couple of movies that have, that I acted in back early, like 12, 13, 14 years ago. That I, I don't even think they have even made it to DVD shelves yet. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, so basically, basically, Chris, mm-hmm. this guy sends us this trailer. And, you know, in our nice way, we tell them what I th- we think's wrong with the trailer. We, you know, the three of us. I'm going to play a little bit for him. Yeah. You want to see the trailer? 
or just whatever. Just show, just show up this trailer. I mean, this is. And Chris, Derek Shapiro, Gamer Girl, Saibuki, Vorpal Bite, uh, B52, Yurak, everybody out there. Yes. Chris, who knows nothing about Derek Shapiro, has not seen anything in the movie, is going to give a very civil, basic opinion based on no other. I mean, I wouldn't go quite as far as say opinions. civil. No, not but civil. But you, you, you are you definitely be you uh, are yeah. outside eyes. set of eyes. Right. You That's are an outside right. set no of clue eyes. About you have no idiot. clue. Okay. Go when you're ready. Ready, Ed. This is the trailer for Derek Shapiro's film. No. So you're poison free now. You know, Danny. I know you're here because you have your amnesia movie coming out, and we want to talk about that. But first. Tell me what you like about the Danny Libby show. Tell me what you love about the passion with your guests. Well, you know, I love interviewing guests. You know, guests are my passion, just like you interview me, Tony, you know? And I remember this one guy interviewed, this owner of the studio. It was awesome. <laughs> and then, of course, <laughs> after the radio show, I used to always get food. Hey, you, you can Photoshop oh, that with something else. <laughs> 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 Pause. 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 <laughs> give, give, give Chris the trailer. Now that's part one of the movie. He got this movie in fifteen parts. Okay, Chris, that's part one. Okay, we have not. I've not watched the whole thing yet. We're in it in a scene. He got us to do a scene when we first met him. Mm -hmm. Basically, we're doing a radio show. We're playing ourselves, and we go. Danny Libby has amnesia. Okay. This is the movie. Play in the trailer. Yeah. But what do you think so far of the movie? Oh, well, um, be honest. That one chick was hot. <laughs> and, <laughs> I mean, that, that's about, I mean, she was. I really don't have a, a, a valid opinion off of that. <laughs> well, come on. Well, okay, okay. It's, it's, you're 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 yeah. doing Derek Barry. Yeah, you're out of the say that. Derek, okay. switch seats with Chris. Okay, you no, be no, Irvin, okay. Derek. I got Chris. Yeah, right but here. he has Irvin's ah, That's right. That's right. <laughs> you murdered it. You murdered it. It was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. The production, Chris. The look of it. He didn't put any kind of. He any, basically any used his laptop film. Well, I, cam. Yeah, I can see that. I was waiting for like a ghost to jump out or something. You <laughs> right. know. <It> was like, <laughs> right. It mean, seemed like but, one of them shaky cam horrors. Not only that, but the music, the, the sound quality, there's no there's no levels on the sound, mm -hmm. right? There's no kind of tint or filter put over no. the, 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 the shots that people do in post-production. There's no... It's not acting. Yeah. It's like Gamer Girl said. It's not acting. It's it's a commercial. It's it's people exactly. going up there promoting exactly. their shit. I, I, I got right? that out of here. It's not a movie. It's an infomercial. Hey, and he just got some good advertising. Mm -hmm. Well, and what he did is you don't know this is he put all these people in there that are semi-famous or used to be. He's got like the dancing cop. He talks to the dancing cop. He's got Chubby Tavares from the 70s group Tavares. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's got us, Irvin, the mm -hmm. three, four of us, which we're not famous. He's got um, that Vinny Bucci from Regular Guys. Mm -hmm. He has him saying a line, you know. But the whole thing, uh, while he gets the trailer, the whole thing, Chris, is the guy feels like none of us could have an opinion about his movie if it was negative. He feels that since he put us in there and he's playing the morning roast on his show station mm -hmm. all the time, right? He figures that we automatically, that gives him a card, a, a green card for us to go ahead and say how great he is, <laughs> right? And, and, and Chris, explain to Derek mainly, the audience already is on top of this with us. We got a smart mm -hmm. audience. We got smart viewers and chatters. Explain to Derek Shapiro how many things you've been in that you still thought was crap, just because you were in it, you still yeah. didn't think it was good. Oh yeah, there's a lot of crap I want to put on my resume. <laughs> there you go. Hey, that's just all there is. And Derek Shapiro, I'm not putting this on my resume. Hey. All right, you're not putting. I'm not putting the case of the radio show host on my the resume. Game, the gamer girl says, "Stop calling it a film, man. It's a runoff I commercial." Know. I know. Yes, I know. I know. The beans is uh, it's a piece of crap. <laughs> See how the music sucks. You know, so, because I, I wish I had a gun in my pussy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Words. 
that, 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 that was from a story we talked about, I think, uh, Thursday or yeah. Friday last week. There was this woman who was, who was, uh, who was arrested by police because she had a gun possession, but she had it. A little derringer. Ah. She shoved it up there to hide that's, it, and then, she, and, then she, and then she shoved <laughs> drugs up her asshole. Oh. So we thought, good Boy. God. Double penetration taken to a... <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you think... I hate to find out what she had in her mouth. Oh, anyway. <laughs> well, it's uh, going okay. on 906. Yeah, let's, go, let's get the hell off of this go to break. Chris yes. Payne has joined us. Payne, he's bringing the pain. Yes, bringing the pain. And uh, Derek Barrett, Anthony Harris, making Scary Grand Iron Binder. Thank you, Ed, for all that stuff you just did. Thank you for featuring us. Hope we'll be getting featured again. It's 43 degrees outside of Macon, Georgia, with a high of 66 and a low of 39. Uh, tune in again. Uh, see us uh, later. We're going on on break, and we'll be right back. We'll have some good stories, a particular story that Gamer Girl sent me about Michael Vick. We'll be right back at the Nut House. This is the Morning Rose. Yeah, baby. Get, Get better, Irvin. Yeah.